It might be tough to see, but this tiny sensor, smaller than a coffee bean, may soon lead to the next big advancement in assistive speech technology. The device is part of a new brain-computer interface, or BCI, developed by researchers at Stanford University to translate brain waves into words, allowing an ALS patient with impaired speech to simulate speaking for the first time. Hello, how are you? We're just really excited about how far we've come. Dr. Jamie Henderson and his team of researchers first worked to pinpoint the specific regions of the brain responsible for speech. Then Henderson performed neurosurgery, implanting the sensor into a patient's brain. As they try to speak, the brain fires off signals that are captured by the device. Then with the help of AI, they're translated into text on a screen that can be spoken by a computer. I have faith. We met up with Pat Bennett. Bring my glasses, please. She's the first person to train with the software that's bringing a voice to her thoughts. How does it make you feel to see that the machine can understand you? Huh. It makes you feel heard. Since being diagnosed with ALS in 2012, Bennett has lost the ability to use the muscles in her lips, tongue, larynx, and jaws, making her speech difficult to understand and forcing her to rely on writing notes to communicate, something she continues to do while working with the research team to perfect the software. When ALS started to impact your ability to speak, huh. what was your thought process like? You knew, it, you knew it was bad. Speaking is everything human. Yeah. Yeah. The relatively slow progression of the disease in Bennett's case has made her the perfect test patient. She's been part of the clinical trial since March of last year and has been able to provide invaluable feedback to the team every step of the way, something that may not be possible with a patient with a faster progression. What's like really exciting about this is we think it's an opportunity to restore fluent conversational speech. After just four months of training, the sensors were able to translate 64 words a minute. That's three times faster than the previous record for a BCI and at least eight times faster than older versions of the tech that rely on eye tracking to type words. I think it really is the next stage. It really does demonstrate that we can elevate the performance to the, to the point where it could be a clinically usable device. Does it seem far away? I think we'll see these systems in people's homes within the next five to 10 years. In that time, with the development of AI language models like ChatGPT, the software could become more accurate. One of the things that we noted in the study was the ability to distinguish between 125,000 words with about a 25% error rate, which is too high. But as you use more and more sophisticated language models, that number can come from 24% to 11% to even single digits. For now, though, the machine isn't perfect. I am nervous. But it's good enough to give Bennett a sense of what might soon be possible. You're going to give a lot of people hope. Ah. Can I, can I show the camera that? That's the best outcome, hope. Awesome. Taft, that was awesome. Man, I loved, I loved spending time with Pat. And it, it really was honestly remarkable to see all of this in action. You guys saw Pat really trying to verbalize the prompts in front of her doctor. Dr. Henderson says that's actually not even necessary for the device to work, but the, the more brain power that Pat puts towards speaking, the more accurate the, the results will be. And the thing that actually, to me, I thought was most interesting is we're also scared of AI, mm -hmm, but with yeah. artificial intelligence, you could have this exponential increase in the ability of this thing to translate words. Mm -hmm. And it really could be, you know, remarkable transformative for people who yes, have ALS. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. ALS is such a cruel disorder. And just the idea that there is hope and the researchers and Pat herself helping provide that is such a difference maker. She was an equestrian and she was showing us, I mean, all of the things from her, her riding life. And the ability to be able to do that while talking through this technology basically makes all of that possible. You know, she's used to riding on that on that pad. Yeah. This is a game changer for somebody like her. Talking is human. Yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that. She yeah. said that. I love she was, she was fantastic. Great story, Jay. Pat, thanks for sharing you. that. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.